As I mentioned earlier, in this first edition of Miss Universe Philippines, we shall conduct this much dreaded yet most anticipated round with a twist. To test their ability to have an eloquent answer, uh, sustained conversation, they will be initially asked one distinct question of each of the top five. And then, this will be immediately followed by one common, relevant, and thought-provoking question for all of our top contenders. This means they won't have the time to rehearse a, uh, an answer or go over something that they have practiced in their head. All right? So this will definitely test their composure throughout the entire process. So I'm sure that everybody is ready to get this going. I'm sure our candidates are ready, our judges are ready. Consider um, everyone at zero again. Let's start with Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Hello, Michelle. Hi, good evening. All right, I shall ask you uh, not just one, but two questions. The second of which is the same question for all five of the top five uh, candid candidates. We have actually asked all of our top five candidates to pick a number backstage. And we are going to start with you. So your first question is actually question number two. You have 30 seconds to answer this question. At the end of 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then right after that, I will ask you the question that I will ask all the other candidates as well. And you have another 30 seconds to answer that as well. Okay? okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Our first question. If you are under strict quarantine and isolation, what is the most important mobile app for you and why? The most important app during this whole quarantine was my Bible. Having faith in the midst of this pandemic was very vital to me, not only for my mental health, but also for my sanity. It got me through the toughest of times. I was able to get through others through the toughest of times, and it kept me centered, and it kept me grounded. And that's the most important thing that I would need in a pandemic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you ready for your second question? Yes, bring it on. All right, here it comes. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Time starts now. As we all know, pageants are a very, very inspiring event not only to the Philippines, but to every country who supports pageantry. It is important to stage a pageant and to show the Philippines that we are much more than our setbacks and our failures, and that we are able to co-overcome any adversity. Having a pageant symbolizes hope, and right now on this stage, that is who we are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. And now we move on to our next candidate. From Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson, a.k.a. Billy. Good evening, judges. All right, Billy, I uh, will ask you two questions. You had a chance to pick your question backstage. After 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask you another question. All right, are you ready? Okay. Here's your first question. What advice will you give to a first-time voter for the 2022 elections? Time starts now. We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens, we have to vote. We have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? I am someone who is usually an independent person, but because of this beauty pageant, I realized that I needed to ask for help, that I needed to reach out to people, and same goes for everyone else. To be able to survive something as big as this pandemic, altruism should be practiced and cooperation is always the key. Thank you. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson. Next up, we 
shall hear from Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Good evening. Good evening again. How are you? Overwhelmed, but uh, all in all, very grateful to be here. Yes, here we go. Down to the final couple questions. I will ask you two questions. One you picked backstage. After you hear 30 seconds, uh, after you talk for 30 seconds, you'll hear this. And then I'll give you another 30 seconds to answer the second question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Your first que question. What factors influence you in deciding on what to buy or post online? The factors that help me decide that is basically what I want to put out there, what I want to show the world about myself, how I want to portray myself. What matters most is that we know who we are, that we are true to our authentic selves, and that we always try our best to show and share that to the rest of the world and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Thank you. Here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Go. I think pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not, our, not all our dreams are, are canceled. They're just put on hold. And for us, we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true, to stand here, to spread hope, to rally people together in action and conversation and spark change. And together, I'm sure, we can make a positive impact out there on this stage. That is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Now let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> For everybody. Okay. <laughs> So I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where we receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilu Ilu City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. <laughs> Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. All right, now we call on our final contestant. Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Good evening. Good evening, good evening everybody. You seem very confident. It might just be my voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I'll ask you two questions. You were able to pick a number backstage. After you talk for 30 seconds, you will hear a chime like this. Then I will ask you another question. At the end of 30 seconds, you will hear a chime as well. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Your first question. To a child who has never seen a pageant, how would you describe a beauty queen? I would tell that child that 
a beauty queen is somebody who is first and foremost a human being. She's somebody that is proud of who she is, but most importantly, she is somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love and productivity and somebody being authentic. And a beauty queen is somebody that we should always look up to. Thank you. Time for your second question. This pandemic, has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand at a time of crisis? In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, I have realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope and it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant-loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what the pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any negative aspect. Thank you very much. Round of applause, Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Thank you so much. And that concludes the final phase of what must have been the longest journey of our candidates in any local pageant, actually in any pageant in the history of pageants. Over eight months since their red carpet media presentation in February, leaving only these five confident, beautiful, and empowered Filipinas standing right here on our stage tonight. Let's go ahead and take a final look at the five phenomenal contenders for the crown of Miss Universe Philippines 2020, starting with Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Thank you, Michelle. Next up, Cavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson. much Billy. Next up from Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Thank you so much Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. Next up let's see Iloilo, Rabia Mateo. Thank you so much, Ilo Ilo. And finally, Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Thank you so much, and there you have it. Once again, a round of applause for our five finalists. One of the major perks of joining national contests like this are the prizes that are at stake for our winner. Here is an amazing showcase of the prizes for our Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Helping us crown the first phenomenal woman is the Villarica family from Mekawayan, Bulacan, a place renowned of its center for world-class craftsmanship in fine jewelry making. They own Villarica Pawn Shop, the expert on gold and precious stones backed by a 65-year experience in empowering Filipino women. The crown is aptly named Filipina. Aside from the exquisite Billy Rica crown, Miss Universe Philippines 2020 will also bring home a brand new MG car. Expect the extraordinary. Plus all exclusive and lucrative management contracts, endorsements, and cash prizes, including being the ambassador of Olay, Downey, Lazada, as Miss Fieldy the Home, and as Miss Cream Silk. Who will win these amazing prizes and emerge as the winner of the most coveted crown in the entire Philippines? Well, she is none other than 
yes, it's not happening right now. I'm sure all of you guys are screaming at your TVs and your laptops, like, hurry up, Casey. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer because we will find out very soon. Actually, right after this break. Our baggy, baggy old country club, the f Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.